Test, test, one, two. Testing. One, two, one, two, one, two. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to uh, yet another episode of Apex Prey. How's it going? How we feeling? We got socks in this one. Yeah. On camera. The Absolutely. OG producer. Yeah. Beautiful man over here. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm doing pretty good. How good. are you doing? Good. I'm good. I'm good. I thought I would be more hungover than I am. But woke up in a good mood? Yeah, I woke up feeling good. That's yeah, what's up. I got a lot done. I went shopping, bought some uh, bought some new stuff for the bathroom. and There you go. You know, I always like having those Sundays. I like yeah. being productive on Sundays, doing shit that needs done. It feels good. I like how you told me what you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always calling <laughs> Ethan in the mornings, and I'm like, what are you doing? And trying I to never, play the game. <laughs> and, I, and I never like telling you what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite thing, making you wonder. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling, Sox? Yeah. Good. I'm Good. actually really tired. Really? Really. Damn, unfortunate. Yeah. Very unfortunate. He dragged me into this. Yep. I did. I had to get the, it done, bro. I had the executive decision and decided socks should be in this one. Absolutely. Just because I wanted to. Yes, sir. Got to gotta get it done. Yeah. Got to do uh, it. Last night, we were out celebrating our friend Gavin. Yep. It Shout out to Gavin. 24th birthday. Absolutely. Yep. He's also in the funeral proposals. Yep. If you listen. Yep, yep, yep. The, so, the bassist, if you will. Yep. Beautiful man, that Gavin. I yeah. love that guy. Dude, last night was super fun. It was fun. It was Had fun as fuck. I'm glad like some of his family was there and stuff, too. It was, yeah. like, it was a really good, like wholesome, all-around party. It was fucking awesome. His mom remembered me from like, yeah. years ago. That's awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's cool, dude. I, uh, fuck I, yeah. I got him a little gift. It was a stupid birthday card that... uh said it's your birthday pig out and it was a stupid pig with a pizza <laughs> yeah and i thought he'd appreciate it yeah and he did he was like you know this is really relatable <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah yeah that's awesome i got him a cigar but little did i know he doesn't like cigars so that's where i was with my gift but okay. it's a thought that counts yeah you know i also gave him some apex prey stickers in hell the yeah card too good so, good yeah. everybody needs some of those mm-hmm. absolutely speaking of if anyone's listening let us know if you want stickers. We still got a bunch of the old ones that we just got to get rid of. It's the same old logo. I mean, you know, nothing uh, nothing changed. It's the old logo, I guess, technically. But, yeah, just DM us. Let us know if you want some stickers. We yep. got them. We, we got do em. have them in stock. Yep. We're going to even have some new ones up here soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, so I've been taking cold showers recently. Mm. Want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. Um, have you guys taken cold showers? No, not really. No? I don't do it, like, regularly. Not regularly? You I've, have, though? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've dabbled in it. Yeah. But not, yeah. like, dude. seriously. Dick's never been smaller <laughs> than when you get out of those cold showers, dude. I bet. It's like a fucking mushroom in a grass field. It's nuts. <laughs> 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 it's fucking crazy. A little mushroom. <laughs> crazy, uh, crazy shrinkage happening when I do cold showers, but it's so nice, bro. It makes me feel so good. Do you it's, just like, I remember one time I turned it all the way cold and I found myself like kind of hyperventilating. Dude, yeah, it gets rough, kind of. <laughs> it gets rough. M- most of the time I'll be like, I'll be like hyping myself up for it. Like, all yeah. right, let's go. I'm going to, I'm going to do a minute this time. And I get in and I'm like, fucking five seconds in i'm like dude i gotta get out of here what the hell yeah i find myself breathing really heavy yeah and then like like the one of the only times i did it it was that time and i ended up taking a huge breath of water Oof! because <laughs> like i was like <gasps> and then how i just the turned that shit you off do that? In sh- you almost drowned in the shower yeah. how do you manage to do that because like i just had my head in the cold and i was just like trying to tough it out i was like <sighs> He just sucked in so hard. Just yeah. All the water. Just... That's so funny. But yeah. <laughs> you just like. I, just, I drowned. I just imagine you like stuck in the shower flailing. <laughs> you just can't breathe. I was stuck, trying not to scream. Breathing. It went up my nose and everything too. Oh, I was man. like, I'm fucking done. That's rough. I'm not doing this I'm anymore. done though. Yeah. This is it for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> DMT trip. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. <laughs> That's funny. Did yeah. you uh, did you get to see? Sorry, go ahead. What were you gonna say? I was I was just gonna keep talking about cold showers, how they've been benefiting me. How have they been? Benefiting I guess that's boring. You? If, you have, <laughs> if you have something more fun, we can switch over to that. <laughs> Dude, you know what I find really funny that I was thinking about the other day? 
What? When I see old people jogging on the side of the road, dude, they're always like, they're always like, like 90 year old fucking zombies just like in their like tight neon fucking like shorts and, and cutoffs just like, like just running, just like look like old people, just old people. Like they're always, (laughs) there's never like a healthy, like 40 or 50 year old jogging it. They're always, (laughs) you only see like fucking 85 year olds like they're just out there like yeah just like barely going barely that point, like straight up zombies they're scared to die at that point yeah yeah <laughs> I, I would say so yeah, yeah for sure i think i don't think i don't know what do you what do you think you're gonna how are you gonna be active like when you're that old i'm getting in swimming pools and doing exercises swimming pools, you're gonna be one of those dudes at the nat the natatorium. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to walk into the locker room with my dick out too. <laughs> <laughs> Just swinging. Yep. Hell yeah. Fucking shower caps. <laughs> yep. <laughs> shower caps, flip flops, just everything else just gone butt naked. Completely. Dude, I remember going to the natatorium. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The good old days. You High ever, school days. You ever been to uh Kalahari or like Great Wolf Lodge? Fuck yeah, I've been to Kalahari. Yeah. I love Kalahari, dude. <laughs> I remember one time I like met this girl there. Like I didn't meet her there, <laughs> yeah. but like I just seen her there, and we ended up talking. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. I thought something was gonna. You grow were out what, of it. like twelve? I was like literally twelve. <laughs> I was like, she's dope for real. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I never seen her again. Mom, I met this girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We used to we used to um, go to the Great Wolf Lodge kind of, not often, but it was kind of like when we were really poor, that was like one of our vacation spots, you know? Yeah. Like that was like a place we would go like, you know, once every couple years or something, we'd always get super excited and it was fun. It was a good time, man. Yeah. You ever been? The Great Wolf mm-hmm. Lodge? Not, not, not there. I've been, been to Calahari, but not the Cal- Great Wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Great Wolf th- Lodge is more like for kids though. Yeah, I'd say so. Like younger yeah. kids? Yeah, like yeah. young kids. It's like a Chuck E. Cheese version of fucking... Yeah. Kind yeah, hard. I think mm. I feel like the Great Wolf Lodge kind of doubles as like a hotel as well, whereas yeah. Kalahari isn't so much. I can't remember. I've I haven't been to Kalahari in a long time. Dude, though. it'd be super fun to go. Yeah, I think because uh, like one of the one the last time I went, I was underage. I couldn't drink, mm. and they had a pool bar, and I was like, "Damn, that seems Dude. so cool. yeah." They do. That's true. Pool bars, the hot tub Hell bars. Yeah, I'm like, bro. Fuck the tiki huts and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, that'd be sick, dude. In Ohio, have you what? <laughs> have you followed up with the? Uh, are we getting Cedar Point passes? I'm super down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm down. We talked least. about this the other yeah. day. We want to get um, season passes for Cedar Point, and the uh, the Gold Pass, I think, is what it was. It's yeah. like 140 bucks, but it includes um, like a whole bunch like crazy discounts for drinks and food and stuff, and it includes a uh, the water park pass. Yeah, it includes water park and the Dude, amusement park. Have you ever been to their water park at Cedar yeah. Point? Dude, it's fire. It's fun as fuck. They got like crazy slides and stuff. Yeah. I'm, I love I'm Cedar trying Point. To, I'm I trying to too. get that pass, bro. Would you be down? Would you get that pass well, with yeah. us? How much is it? It's 140 bucks for the entire for season. For the year? But for yeah, the season. For the whole season. You but, get to go to Halloween weekends too. But it also I think. Is it Halloween weekends as well? I, I don't think see so. why not. Yeah, it should be. The whole season, right? It's like the yeah, whole it's a time season they're pass, fucking yeah. open. Look. Um, but yeah, it comes with the water park pass as well. All kinds of discounts. And it also gives you a decent discount on like guest tickets. Like if you have the pass and you want to bring yeah, people. Yeah, bring a friend discount tickets. Yeah. Damn. Free general parking. Unlimited Halloween weekends visits. Fuck yeah. yeah. Dude, that alone would be worth it. Yeah, Halloween weekends sure. is fire. It is cool. I went there when I was real young. Yeah, it's I rode fun. the Millennium Falcon. I went there recently. The Millennium Force at nighttime, dude. That shit was fun. Dude, the Maverick at nighttime is crazy, bro. It goes like around that little lake thing, and there's like fountains that shoot up with lights. It's so oh, that's fucking sick. sick, bro. Yeah, it's so cool. Dude, I think we should definitely get it. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I'm down to get it. I'm down. They got For the sure. fucking. Uh, monthly payments too if you're poor like yeah me. hell yeah so. hell yeah <laughs> dude we can make some content we could yeah, get some videos some that'd be cedar cool. point videos yeah. hell yeah just like we were gonna do for yeet but cedar point is not gonna <laughs> sell out on us <laughs> yeah. it's facts at least facts. not 
they can't, they can't every time. No. They can't they can't close down every time. Yeah. They might be able to cancel on us once every every so often, but what's really cool is like even if they do have like some rides closed out, we could just be like at least we got an unlimited pass. We can just yeah, come back on yeah. another good day. Either you know? that or we can fucking just bring our swim trunks every time. If there's closed down rides, go swimming. Yeah. We can do anything. Fuck yeah, it dude. That's true. And they don't just have roller coasters. Like, there's other fun shit. There's arcades and stuff. Cedar Point's fun, man. It's a good time. Yeah. It's a good way to spend a weekend, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'd get super drunk. Hell yeah. Yeah. And yes, ride sir. the rides. Yeah, we'd have to have Fulcrum come out dude. there, bro. Oh, dude, that'd be so fun. <laughs> that'd be fucking crazy. I've never drank and rode a roller coaster. It's it's a good time. You haven't really, really. No. I've done it drunk. I've I haven't done it been like to Cedar tipsy. Point in like years. Dude, I've ridden. Uh, I I've rode where it was tipsy. I think it was. I think it was out of state. I think it was at a park in maybe pennsylvania or something but that was when i i was like kind of drunk as fuck and i rode a roller coaster and it was a good Damn. time you gotta be careful though because yeah. there's a thin line that's Cause a if very you're, thin line if you got a bunch of beer in your stomach that might be a very bad idea luckily i wasn't like bloated or anything yeah. i was just i was one of those really nice like clean kind of drunks so i was good like buzz fuck it. on you yeah, yeah i was like fuck it let's ride a roller coaster it was a good time yeah i should have just kept it easy last night for real i was drinking <laughs> fast it yeah like, it like kind of caught up to me yeah for real. well we started the night with the yeah. rattling bog we yeah did. we did we well, did we started actually, early too i rode a bus before that's you true got there that's true to my i house. rode a bus at your house too yeah that's what i'm saying oh you rode the bus with me that's right <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were I drinking. wasn't. I wasn't on the bus. I got there a little bit after you guys, but it was I had fun. a beer before we got to the party. Yep, I had it was like a good time. Two, yeah. two and a half, I think. Hell yeah, that was a good amount. And then I got to the party, then we rode the rattling bug. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. It was a good party too. I wish we could have had Gavin on the rattling bug for real, dude. We Gavin's out. Gavin's <clears throat> girlfriend is the goat. She yeah. put that shit together, bro. Yeah, it was a whole thing. She's super cool. Hell yeah, she played Yeet for me. Yeah, dude, I, <laughs> at one, did you put, like, a shit ton of Yeet songs on the key or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, because I was, there was at one point, I I went outside to, I brought those cigars, I went outside because I just wanted to light one up, and uh, I need some fresh air, you guys were still inside, like, in the party or whatever, and the way they had the speakers set up was, like, pretty much only outside speakers, like, you couldn't really hear much inside, yeah. so I, was, I stepped outside, and it was just me alone, um like up at the uh like the the, deck. Rear, the back deck or whatever and then there was a bunch of like his family around the fire mm-hmm. and i was just like alone you know on the back deck smoking my cigar for a minute and i was like i was like jamming out to a yeet song i was like <laughs> hell yeah this is lit i was drunk smoking a cigar i was having a ball yes sir and then i started realizing <clears throat> it was only yeet that was playing <laughs> And I was like looking down at I was looking down at the fire at like Gavin's family and they were not feeling it. They were like, What the fuck is this shit? You were just vibing up there by yourself. I was just up on the deck having a good old time, dude, listening to Yeet. I wish we could have got there sooner. The burgers were kinda like a little cold. Yeah, I had wings though. The wings were still good. I had four slices of pizza. (laughs) You were a little piggy. Yeah. That's crazy. I still felt super And a burger. Yeah. (laughs) That's nuts. As a matter of fact, I'm hungry as hell right now. <laughs> yeah, me too, bro. What are you about to get after this? Me and Socks actually had a plan. Yeah? We, we were going to invite you. What is it? Uh, let's go get some food. What kind of food is what I'm asking? I don't know. We didn't get that far. Yeah. Okay, I just had some eggs, unfortunately. I so. smelled them when I we'll, came in. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how I'm feeling <clears throat> after the podcast. All right. But, uh, but as of right now, I think we I'm going to have to pass. We had something in mind, too. Uh what, do you, what would you call it? A uh, prerequisite. I don't know. What's what's before a fucking dinner? What's before a dinner? Appetizer. An appetizer. Yes, we have an appetizer. Okay. All right. All right. I'll. Uh, I might have to hear you guys out. We'll see. We'll see what's <laughs> going on. Um. What else? What else we got? I had some other things I want to talk you, about. Did uh, you end up watching any of the highlights from the Tank versus Garcia fight? No, no, I'm. No. I don't. I don't follow boxing even a little bit. You, I'm gonna socks. be totally honest. I watched the fight. 
Oh yeah, yeah he they ended up fight watching on. the fight. Yeah. God damn. Yep. Yep. Who won? Did you win any Tank. money? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he won <laughs> yeah. money. Tank. Yep. Beautiful. I love it. Was it eighth round or seventh round? Whatever. Seventh. Seventh. Is that what ended up happening? Yeah. He, TKO seventh round. Yep, liver no shot. shit. Fucked him up. Yep. Wow. He also knocked That's him crazy. down. I seen a highlight. It looked nice as fuck. It was just Damn. what I expected. You were hear real. something funny? What? Right when, uh, I think it was like after the fight when they were just like talking or whatever. One of the announcers, he was like, he was like, oh, he made his liver quiver. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And me and Tyler just started dying. <laughs> You guys were drunk as hell. Yeah. It was great, <laughs> though. Liver quiver. Dude, I'm sick. I feel like I should have came over. Yeah, it was great because we both had money on Tank. Damn, I Rupert probably could have put money, too. I had I have the app downloaded and yeah. log in. Dude, I was like... Fuck. I was kind of at that point, I was like in that down for whatever phase. So, like, I was like, you know, I was ready to come over. We were in the Uber on our way to your house. Super last minute. And, Sis- and Cisco texts me when we're like fucking five minutes away from your house yeah. and he's like hey bro no cap i'm trying to go home and i was <laughs> yeah. so when i turned around i was like hey what's your plan for going home <laughs> in front of everybody because yeah. he's trying to be sneaky and text me about yeah. it <laughs> i was i didn't Ooh. like that uber guy i liked him was, i was having a dude we were on the on the way so we i fucking had to get into the app and make the whole detour <laughs> to his house to drop them off and then i was like fuck it we're already here i've got this uber fucking draining my bank account so i may as well just go home now <laughs> so you well, know, so i just went home but yeah on the way home he was cool he was like definitely an awkward guy yeah um like he you could tell he was a little bit like socially anxious or whatever but um we were vibing on the way home listening to some Eminem. fire old school Eminem songs yeah. and we were like talking about god and like the universe I didn't even and stuff hear any of that cuz you were already dropped off oh <laughs> <laughs> i was like what? we were just we were it was just me and him in the uber on our way back vibing. we were just having a moment <laughs> it was it was pretty he was a uh, he was a little more religious of a guy than i prefer but we were having good conversation about it it was pretty cool it was kind of refreshing he was like talking about how um his uh his daughters aren't uh his daughters are like one's like in her teens one's in her 20s and they aren't religious and he wishes they were but he understands you know that kind of thing everyone can believe what they want and it was a good conversation we were getting deep kind of that's dope we were getting a little deep i was like what do you know about the simulation theory <laughs> he was like uh, i don't follow all that to be honest I was like, all Did right, you fucking him? dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe think a little bit. <laughs> no, for real. Why isn't he looking into it at right. least? The fuck? That was... You're looking into Christianity, talking dude, to him. Yeah, and I was too. I yeah. was. That's, that's the, dude, I don't know. It I don't, sucks. It does suck. He didn't suck. reciprocate. It's so hard to find a religious person that is open to conversation about it. Because, yeah. like, anyone who's super religious, for some reason, just a side effect of being super religious is pushing it on to other people. Like, and he, he was a nice guy, you know, we were talking about stuff, but he was so close-minded. So fucking close-minded. And it's so hard to find an open-minded religious person. Yeah. Because they're so, like, it's not even about, really, that's what you believe, it's about that's what they know, but they don't realize that that's not what they know. That's what they think they know. You yeah. know what I mean? Which is fine. And it's just it's just hard for people to admit. You know, like I love religious. I love religion. I love spirituality. All that shit. But for some reason, <clears throat> something about it is just like people who are so devoutly religious can't talk about other ideas. Like they can't. They don't have it in them. To, like, yeah. be able to have conversation about other things. Even, like, drugs, for real. Just anything. Yeah. Like, it, it's just a very weirdly closed-minded, like, type of people. It's I don't a know cult. Why. It is a cult, yeah. I mean, everything is a cult, though. If you're part of a community with anything, especially nowadays the with the internet, bro. With the internet, dude, it's like everything's a cult. Like, everyone's into something, you know, yeah. and it's very, very cult-like, whatever people are into. 
fucking people are into like crystals and shit. That's a cult, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. That's a crazy cult. That's a cult that thinks that's <laughs> crystals, dude. That's a cult that that they think rocks make you feel good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which I what the fuck do I know? Maybe there's some science behind that. I don't fucking know. I haven't looked into it. <laughs> that's my point, though. You got to be open minded. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You guys can talk about some stuff too if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys uh, heard of this um, disease that makes you pretty much cum constantly? Yeah, yeah, I've heard about it. Before. Do you know what it's called? Somebody just brought this up recently. I think it was me because I brought it up because I've had it in my notes for the past like fucking three months and I just haven't <laughs> been able to talk about it. So let's talk yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, um, let me look up what it's actually called first. Um, while I do that, the you guys coming disease. You guys talk about how it would feel good or something. Would I you want to die that way? <laughs> die coming? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't know. Now that I think about it, <laughs> I don't think you. I don't think you die from it. I mean, you can. You could kill yourself. Th- that's, but that's not like that right, right. directly but killing like, you. If you could die mid nut, would go. you? Probably not. I don't. I don't think so. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Okay. Spit some facts. So, <laughs> I want to know what this acronym stands for. It's P G A D. Per- okay, persistent genital arousal disorder, is what it's called. This says PGAD has very little to do actually with orgasms. It is defined by a relentless feeling of genital congestion, which Ugh. is often accompanied by pelvic pain. Ugh. Those who suffer from the condition Ugh. constantly feel like they're on the verge of an orgasm. The feeling can last anywhere from a couple of hours to several weeks at a time. This is making me uneasy. Dude. Ugh, that made me, like, cringe. That's nuts. <laughs> that's pretty but crazy. it said pain, too. Yeah, no, it's not good. No, that's one big thing about that I've heard about this disease is that people, like, most people who have it end up killing themselves Ugh. because of how bad it is. I don't want it. It's, like, it's an actual problem. Like... So it's I guess rough. I'm just kind of confused here. About what? Yeah. There's pain. Yes. But you also feel like you're going to orgasm. It's not, it's not, so it's not orgasm, it's not constant orgasm. It's, it's not, it's more I know, like It's more like it's constant blue balls. Okay. Yes. Is more what it is. Yes. Okay. Pretty much. It's like. Even even for the females that have it. It's, like you can't release. Yeah. It's like okay. you're and about it just to. builds up. I mean, as it just said, it could happen for weeks at a time. Like, for weeks straight, you could yeah. just feel like you're about to come, and you just can't come. That's Damn. tough. I would kill myself. Absolutely. I think. Yeah. yeah. If, I had, if, if, if I had that and it wasn't treatable, oh, my God. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not living yeah. with that. I'd Absolutely not. Neuralink chip, bro. Yeah. Oh, I bet that could fix it. Probably could. I bet it could. Yeah. Yeah. His I shit bet, got like disapproved though, or something. Dude, I bet you could also get Neuralink that would make you be able to come whenever you want. A mind come, even that'd be nuts. A, A mind, mind come. come. Yeah, like you don't even have to like <laughs> physically come. Like it only just happens in your yeah. mind. You just come inside of your mind. Yeah, like you feel it. <laughs> yeah, like you feel like you <laughs> yeah. performed that action. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. You like. <laughs> you and your homies could lock eyes and just <laughs> <laughs> that's some black mirror crazy. shit bro. yeah that's some black mirror shit you remember that episode of black mirror <laughs> we used to joke around about yeah. it was the the two black dudes they get that like fucking vr like fucking mind Falcon chip thing from the avengers yeah. that actor yeah oh what's his name he's like the king of netflix bro he's like <laughs> yeah, dude yeah. he's in he's in <laughs> everything bro <laughs> What's his name? I I'll knew it. it. I it knew up. it. Fuck. What is it? He it's plays... not uh, Michael B. Jordan, is it? Hell Fuck no. No. <laughs> That's, Who am uh... I thinking of? Who is that? That was a. Uh... 
Dude, imagine he was having the Black Panther's uh, brother. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Or, yeah. Imagine like having that. the name Anthony Michael Mackey. Jordan. Anthony Mackey. Yeah, Anthony that's Mackey. it. I love him. He's good, bro. Yeah, dude, he's, he's a good, a good actor. actor. He's definitely I the like king him. of Netflix, though. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> For sure, everything. he's in fucking everything. He's in like every episode of Black Mirror. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> <laughs> he's the goat. For Dude, sure. But yeah, that would be fucking insane. That would be some shit that would like actually happen. What? The people using it to come? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. for sure. Yeah. I mean, you think about it. Like if you if you're super into like lifting or like like anything physically <laughs> with your body or whatever, like you can you can you can get the the urge out of your brain by doing a brain come. And that's not, like, weighing down on you. But you're also not losing any, like, testosterone or anything like that. You okay. Know? I yeah. see. You know? Yeah, like, if you could sense. use, if you could do the brain coming with Neuralink, that's that's exactly what would happen. You yeah. could You could get that urge out of your head so you're not, like, thinking about it or it's not bogging you down. Or constantly, like. But you still got your, your oomph. You still got your testosterone. Yeah, you still got your seed. Yup. Wow. Yup. That's crazy. That's how it's done right there. We just figured it out. Dude, that's going to like help us. Yeah. It's going to help yeah. us become more masculine I and bet also you, smarter and robotic. I bet you I bet you there's a way to accomplish it through like meditation or something though. I bet you. I bet you could brain come. That's mm. nirvana, I would say. Yeah. There's a way to do it for sure. There's got to be. There's yeah. got to be. We could uh we should figure that out. LSD. We should do some. We should do some some experiments. Mushrooms. Let's put ourselves through MK Ultra. <laughs> Let's just lock ourselves we in a test room. Each other, dude. We could. So here's what we'll do. We'll all drop an insane amount of acid. Lock ourselves in a room and just watch FBI interrogation videos. That sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrifying. Yeah. Just melt our. We brains. could just play free computer games, dude. All that's night. how. That's how they fucking. That's how they created Charles Manson and uh, and uh, Ted Kaczynski. Yeah. Those, both of those fuckers came out of the MK Ultra shit. That's crazy shit, dude. I think Kanye is on the MK Ultra. Yeah, I I believe it. Ain't that yeah. crazy, dude? How crazy is it that he's just back? I don't think he is. I he's back. Heard he's back about with him. Adidas. They took him back. Oh. Did they? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I seen Dude, that they were going to, but they I took them back. They did it was offi- it was official. Yeah, mm-hmm. they they took them back. They said fuck it. <laughs> they they were they were created by a Nazi. They're they're a Nazi German company. So I did forget that uh, Kanye said uh, Jonah Hill made me like Jewish people yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's literally no such thing as canceling anymore. Like you, all it does is get headlines. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And then you get, I don't know, dude, I almost feel like there's a, there's a limit to like how much you can say, like if your platform gets big enough, you like, what if you get MK ultra? I mean, I'm saying, obviously there is no limit because Kanye was borderline acting like Hitler. He was talking about Jews being terrible and how great Hitler is literally like that's what was happening. And now he's just what back he's just chilling yeah, still making insane. money still making millions of dollars off of fucking adidas money guarantee he's about to put an album out or something he's, you can't that's cancellation is not a thing anymore like straight up it's just not yeah any any press there's no such thing as bad press anymore like no such thing any Dude. press is good press so like speaking of that it kind of relates in a way. Uh, this AI shit, like the music AI, bro, mm. that shit is kind of scary. Yeah. Because it's almost, it sounds like just as good as yeah. any normal artist. Yeah, like that, that Drake song. Yeah, the Drake song. The yeah. Heart on My Sleeve. Yeah. It's good, too. Like, it's you can bump your head to it, yeah. bro. It's good shit. Everyone's using that. It's on dangerous. On TikTok right now. It's yeah, so bro. dangerous, dude. We're kind of at a weird point right now where, like... It feels way weirder. You're either you're either gonna like we're at a stage right now where people are gonna have to start accepting. This is like an acceptance period. You're either we're about to see, mark my words, in the next ten years, 
society's going to split in between two groups. It's no longer going to be liberal, Democrat, Republican, conservative. It's no longer going to be any of that. It's going to be people who have accepted the fate of humanity because of robots and people who have just lost their minds. You can choose. You can choose. That's the beautiful thing of it. You can choose which one you want to be. You can accept our fate. You can accept the fact that AI is taken over and we're all either going to have to join them or die. You can just accept that. And that'll be one kind of person that you can be and you can choose to be that person. Or you can just lose your fucking mind and become Kanye. (laughs) And you can choose to be that person. Again, that's the beautiful thing. You have those two options, and you have the freedom to choose. But I have a mark feeling. my words, bro. That's what's gonna happen. All right, ten years. I got a mark. Ten years. Yep. I Put have a your feeling calendar. the music industry has kind of had like AI for a while because like all these posthumous albums that <clears throat> release after people die, like rappers and shit. Oh yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They it, release Juice, like, three Juice albums World, and shit. Sometimes. Juice World's been dead for what, like four years, and he's still releasing music. Yeah. <laughs> How does that? Some somebody's greedy little hands are dipping into that for sure that's what i'm saying they got a fucking juice world voiceover yeah to where like you can say whatever you want and yeah. you sound like juice world yeah 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 that's some sure. crazy shit for real there's also a weird thing happening in the music world not even i don't it kind of feels like music might be crumbling a little bit because like not only are podcasts like starting to take over like everyone listens to podcasts now but I also feel like the combination of AI coming in and starting to be able to make music, AI being able to make art just as good as humans make art, which was arguably the last thing we had to hold on to that they're taking from us, um, that mixed with the fact that there's really no, like, it's all either the top, like, five artists pretty much still making music and making money, or it's millions of small creators pretty much being like millions of different one hit wonders. Like there's so many, it's all phases now, you know, like people, people get into an artist and an artist will blow up cause their shit is used as a sound on TikTok, and they will be big as fuck for a month. And then it'll be on to the next one. And that artist just falls off. You never hear anything about it. Kind of reminds me of that one guy. Uh, fuck. I forget his name. Roddy Rich. Rich. Panda, 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 panda. <laughs> yeah, designer. Like the mm-hmm. Designer. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, uh, I don't know. I, I kind of get the vibe that the music industry might be crumbling a little bit. I'm not a one hit wonder. They know all my weird. stuff. Yep. Drake. Yep. Yep. Drake's one of those top five that I was talking about. Yep. Yeah. But even, even he's in danger now. He's in danger. Even he's in danger. Yeah. Yep. That's why I feel like, cause like, I don't know. Pod- podcasting is kind of like there's no real rhyme or rhythm to it. Like it's hard to I mean you you've seen the AI podcasts that they've done. Like the Joe Rogan one with Bill Gates or whatever. Like No, I haven't seen that. They they're they're able to do like they're putting together like pretty much full podcasts now that is completely done by AI. Like they did one with joe rogan and bill gates he's never had bill gates on he's never even talked to bill gates but there's a full ai podcast out of those two doing a podcast together that's insane that's weird dude but the thing is you can tell that's ai you can tell it's still off they don't they're not i don't think they're as good with human conversation as they are with music production I think it's a lot easier to get music production down because it's a constant, like, it's a rate that you got to go to, you know? Whereas yeah. a conversation, there's no, like, there's no rhythm that you can program with a conversation. And you have to have, versus like, music personality yeah. to conversate. Yeah, yeah, which they're, they're getting close. Like, don't don't get me wrong. They're, I think they're going to be there. I think they're going to be able to do AI podcasts very soon, but Holy fuck. You could program AI to talk about, uh, the mysteries of the earth, anything like, yeah. solve the three, six, nine yeah. theory. Yeah. Converse about it. Yeah. Read this book. You but guys the thing read is, these books. By the time it gets to that point, it's no longer going to be us programming it to figure that out. It's just going to have the desire to figure it out itself. And it doesn't have to tell us shit that it figures out. Yeah, might even know. Already. It might even know already. Yeah, 
That's yeah. very true. That's crazy shit. So we got AI. We got lizards. We got lizards. We got 85-year-old men jogging. Skinwalkers. Yep. 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 We got constant coming diseases. Mm. <laughs> What's going on here, man? We got to figure something out. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. We got to... We gotta, it's we getting kind of fucked. Yeah, it is getting kind of fucked. Elon Musk might be our only hope after all. Yeah. Yeah. Would you take... You'd take off to Mars. Yeah, it depends on the, the circumstances. Yeah. Um, for the most part, though, yeah, I would say yeah. What if he's yeah, because he's would. scared of AI? He's one mm. of the people who's like, I, I don't side with AI. I don't know. I think AI would be able to follow us to Mars, like way easier than we're even able to get to mars so i don't think i think i i think i'm kind of fatalistic about it i think if ai ever has a chance to become a problem for us then it's going to be a problem for us it's a real problem it's like some real life terminator shit yeah yeah it is And and that's so crazy yeah and i i just think you know if you can't beat them join them that's really it. How would you join him? Neuralink. That's what he's trying to do. That's his ultimate goal with Neuralink is the he's taking the if you can't beat him, join him route with it. That's why he created Neuralink. It was because of the threat of AI taking over. Hmm. And us combining our bodies with machines is the only way we stand a chance to survive. Damn, bro. Yeah. It's crazy that we're alive at this time. It's, it is. It's crazy that we live such short lives, too. Like, we really won't get to see the full extent of yeah. what happens. I mean, who knows? Maybe we yeah. will. You know, maybe the singularity yeah. Yeah. will happen or the fucking rapture, whatever it is. That or maybe they just come out with new technology that makes us live to 400 years old or something, you know? Yeah. That'd be cool. Would you do that? We could get put into a, a USB or something, like a hologram. Yeah. yeah. Or what do you mean? Do you mean, I, like, flesh? I just mean literally, like... Because, I mean, back in the day before, um, you know, medical science was at the point that it is now, we only lived till, like, fucking 20. That's why nine-year-olds were getting pregnant, because people just didn't live that long. God you know? damn. Now, with uh, with uh, <laughs> the invention of all of the, you know, modern medical stuff, that's why we live to 100 years old now. So, if that keeps progressing more and more rapidly, then, fuck, who knows, by the time we die... Human beings could live to 400. You never know. I think it'd be more of a thing where we get put into like a Neuralink silicone body. Yeah, I mean, it all depends. Either way, it's possible, you know? Well, I mean, I don't know. Because like, I feel like you wouldn't really be going through the DMT process of when you die. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Which would be crazy. I mean, maybe you would though. Maybe they'd have to kill you. I mean, yeah, I I don't know. All, all I know is if, like, with the whole would you live, would you be immortal if you had the chance question, I've always kind of, I don't think I would take that. I don't think I would yeah. want to live forever. I want to, no, probably I wanna not see, forever. I'm not religious, but I want to see what's on the other side. I do believe in some kind of higher power or some kind of afterlife or yeah. something. And I think, um, I don't know. I think it's part of the natural cycle of life to um, all living beings at some point have to experience that. And I would want to experience that. So then you wouldn't be joining the AI then? I don't think so. No. I mean, unless it was like pretty fucking cool. Yeah. But (laughs) it would have to be pretty fucking cool. Oh, dude, it probably would be. I just thought of something crazy. Like the silicone bodies. Imagine if you could put like weapons on your body. Dude, or or you could like an AK arm. Just Terminator shit. You could be like like a Laster girl and like fucking reach out and grab shit. Yeah, that'd be fucking sick. That'd be dope. Have laser eyes, bro. Fuck yeah, dude. Whoa. Run super fast. Damn, you could really have anything you could imagine. You could. You could. But it's like at a certain point, when do you like just get bored of that? Right, because then that becomes the norm. Yeah. That then, you know, that's Start I mean over. I mean, think about it. Like us having cell phones is like a superpower compared to um you know, our like our ancestors, like compared yeah. to 
the Egyptians or compared to the ancient, you know, uh, whatever they're called, the 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 pre-human humans that were like the the middle point between monkeys and humans, you know. If those, if our ancestors looked at us now, they'd be like, oh, these people have superpowers. Yeah. They would you know? be baffled for sure. Yeah. But us just living with our cell phones, it's just a normal thing, you yeah. know? So, like, if we got to a point where our bodies were silicone and we were able to have superpowers or whatever, then those superpowers would no longer be superpowers. They would just be the normal. Yeah. You know? To our feeble minds right now, yeah. it seems like superpowers. Yep. You know, it's all about perspective. Yeah. Really. It really is. That's everything. Perspective Damn. is everything. It is everything. Absolutely. Yep. It is the dirt. It is you and I. It's it is me. tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> so, what's up? You uh, got any cool notes? Yeah. You got anything fun? I did, actually. What do we got? I got to look again. I forgot. Dude, I'm carrying this fucking podcast on my back right now. I feel Absolutely. like I've been talking for 40 minutes straight. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you're a great host. Yeah, you you're should a be good talker. Honored. Dude, I appreciate it, but yeah. like, let's do a podcast maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What's going on? What do you got? Uh, I know you got something, bro. Come on. Give us something right. cool. Give us all like, right, right. give us, I do give have... us something fun that we can like explore. Something. Something original. So give us an idea. You want an original idea? Yeah. All right, yeah. so now I got to go off the cuff. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. So give give me, like, words or something. Okay. Um, fastest. Um, I want three words. Okay. Fastest. Sex. Um, Rhinoceros. Time, time of day. Okay. When's the what what time okay. Alright. What time of day do you have the fastest sex? Do you think? When do you come the fastest? <laughs> Is it in the morning? I come pretty fast in the morning. Uh I don't Dude, know. morning wood's no joke. Yeah, morning wood I get some, is no uh, joke. I guess some wild morning wood. Yeah, I, I would probably have to agree with that. Yeah. That I mean also probably like nighttime just like being super fucking drunk but then that could also go the other way you know yeah yeah it's, you could get whiskey it's dick. like a 50 50 yep mm -hmm. yep i think the funnest time to have sex is like in the middle of the day when you can like hear lawnmowers outside and shit oh yeah i think that's pretty great i, I like something about too. something about hearing the neighborhood be active while you're having fucking sex nostalgic dude. yeah uh, you're yeah like for the sure. world's fucking doing its thing hell and yeah. Doing this. <laughs> yeah hell yeah the world is alive yeah <laughs> fucking takes you back to the first time you fucking fingered a girl dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Something about hearing that goddamn lawnmower. It's something about outside. the lawnmower. Something, you know. about, something about hearing those kids play outside. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Let's cut that oh, one out. Fuck. No, I'll definitely leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but yeah, I'd have to agree. That would probably be the prime fucking yeah. time. Yeah, that's not. I wouldn't say it's, it's the fastest, time. but I'd say that's probably that's the best time. To I feel have like sex nighttime's sure. always expected, but daytime's not really expected. Daytime's kind of slept on. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, like in the middle of the day, the Shit. sun's out. Yeah, it's the unexpected sex that's for sure. the best. For sure. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I remember when I was first like when I haven't when I didn't lose my virginity yet. And I was like, I knew it was getting to the time because I had like a serious girlfriend. <laughs> this boy and... had some hoes. Oh, he had one. Yeah. And I oh, was yeah, like, that's right. you know, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm trying to talk about losing my virginity. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Jesus. Show me some respect. <laughs> Um, what was I fucking talking? Oh, I remember, I remember, um, talking to my one, I remember talking to my one friend who I knew had, had sex already. Hell yeah. And he was like, he was like trying to tell me about it. Cause I was like, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I was kind of trying to like 
plan it out to like happen during homecoming, like for the, during the after party or whatever. Like I was trying to plan it out and I was yeah. talk I was talking to my buddy about it and he was like, "Dude, I'm telling you, if you plan it, it's not going to go down how you think. I'm telling you. The only real way to have sex is for it to just happen unexpectedly. That's like the best way for you to do it. That's the only way things go right." And I was like, "Huh. It kind of makes sense." Yeah. He was he was kind of a <clears throat> philosopher. At the time, he was speaking. He, he put, gave you some truth. He did give me some. Pr- that was like the truth. best Absolutely. truth he could have gave you. That's how, like how much was, older was he than you? He was in. He was a grade ahead of me, I think. How old were you at this point? Like a freshman, junior? <sighs> Either late freshman or early sophomore, I think was he when was I lost my virginity. Facts. He was spitting facts. Yeah. He was spitting facts. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. That was definitely some of the best <clears throat> advice a virgin could have gotten. Absolutely. Because sure. it definitely helped. It made me, it took a lot of the stress off my shoulders. I was like, fuck. Yeah. I mean, it I'm made tweaking. sense. Yeah. It made sense. I'm tweaking. That's exactly what it was. I was like, man, I should not be like so worried about it. Yeah. yeah. Which is absolute facts. Because yeah. if, if I was super worried about it when I had sex, I wouldn't have been able to get it up. That's just how it works. Yeah. You fucking nerve set in. Got a little dick. <laughs> She's not gonna like me. I'm not yeah. gonna make her come. <laughs> I'm gonna be bad at it. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Oh man. Have you guys ever experienced ED? <clears throat> ED. Erectile dysfunction? Have you ever had problems getting it up? Well yeah. yeah. I I would say it's natural. Yeah. 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 I've run into that a few times. Yeah. It's only off the liquor really off the liquor i've uh i've run into it a couple times dude it's 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 no joke it's hard to talk about yeah it really is it's like the worst thing that can happen to a man i would say like it's rough on your psyche it's fucking rough i must suck yeah yeah it uh <laughs> i've fucking I've it's not great like I've gotten like it's happened to me where I've just been like super fucking high and I'm just yeah. like I'm just lost in thought low key. And yeah. Then it just that's doesn't a, that's end up it, happening. I'm like, it's always fuck. it's always like when there's too much going on in your mind. Like whether yeah. that be from drinking Anything. too much or yeah. a substance or from stress from work or something. It uh I went through like a year of um like I was super stressed out about a lot of different things and I just for some reason like it was the most frustrating thing like I was it I was I was able to have sex but it was like every once in a while throughout that entire year like maybe once uh like every like week or two maybe I was like experiencing some ED and it was cuz there was so much going on in my life and it was horrible like, I wouldn't wish that on my worst fucking enemy. Yeah, that sounds it's, fucking terrible. It's rough. It's just so embarrassing, and it's like, I don't know. It's rough. It's rough. Well, I mean, as long it's as... It's rough to go through. You got that pecker poking now? I Oh, yeah, I got it poking it? now. Uh, I'm, yeah, that's do we all need you to need. start taking some supplements? I'm in, my, I'm in my fucking prime physically. I meditate all the time. I'm with myself, bro. Speaking of prime physically... I'm in that I shit. I am, too. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Fucking, you hit some PRs. Let's yo, talk about it. Yesterday, we just had our uh, first, like, gang meet, pretty much. Fuck yeah. It was uh, after the six-week program we all started. And, Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. I hit the PRs I wanted to and some more for squat, bench, and deadlift. That's I, fucking uh, awesome, dude. My previous max it. on bench was, like, 165, pretty mm-hmm. much. I got to 185. God, that's killer. Yeah. I fucking love it. Yeah. That's so sick. I, uh... My squat 185. I bet that felt so fucking Dude, good, good when you good put that to shit up. That. Yeah. Absolutely. Nathan was above me, like, yeah! yeah. I was like, I got it. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> he had his hands there, like waiting to grab it. Yeah. And I was like, I got it. I love that shit. I felt it, bro. And then, Fuck uh, yeah. yeah, my squat. I don't really know what my max was, but mm-hmm. I've know I've never been like over 200 because I just thought Hell it was yeah. too high. And I hit 245 for nice. that. Nice. Yep. That's good. And then uh, for deadlift, I kind of hit 315, mm. but, like, I didn't get my back straight all yeah, the way. Yeah, it was an iffy rep. Yeah, it was an iffy rep, but, like, 
I'll count it as like a yeah, 300, sure. 310 max yeah. for deadlift. Yeah, I mean, if you got it up there, you got it up there. I got it know? pretty much up there. Yeah. Logan told me, he's like, fuck it, bro. You got that bitch up there. Fuck yeah. I was like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I've always hated sticklers when it comes to lifting. Yeah. I mean, I get like form is really important, obviously, or you're going to fuck yourself up. But when it comes to like, oh, your spotter touched the bar, that rep didn't count. Like, people who are like that, go fuck yourself. Like, I'm just, just trying just to like make a little gains. Love tap, you, know? you know what I'm saying? And even like... Just trying to help them out. <laughs> I mean, not only that, but pe- I mean, people are like... I guess I don't really experience as much now, but back when I like played football and like lifting was a huge part of it and like the whole team lifted together, there would be certain people that would like... You know, if you're trying to hit a PR or something and, like, your spotter just has their hands, like, on the bar just in case it drops, they'll be like, those rips didn't count. Your spotter's touching the bar. Like, go fuck yourself. Like, yeah. It's not that serious. It's not that no. serious. Like, we're just out here we're trying to make gains. We're not in competition. Gains. Right. We're I all trying like to I get was better. I competition mode yesterday. Really? I was, bro, it was, like, for real, like, almost a three-hour workout. Damn. Because we were, we all had to do the same thing because Nathan's crazy ass took up all of the plates, all mm-hmm. 1045 plates That's for the deadlift. Nuts. And he's like, we might as well just all lift in order. Like, yeah. Do everything together. I was like, all right. Might as well. Fuck it. At that rate. Yeah. Fuck. And what's cool is like, I was the first one in the motion, like the rotation mm-hmm. for lifting. So I was the one who was going to be ending up maxing out first, you know, yeah. doing all that yeah. shit. I was like, so I'm about to have to set the tone, huh? Fuck yeah, You're dude. Like, yeah. Yeah. I fucking did it. Hell yeah. It was, I love it was that a good shit. day. Yesterday was a really good day. That's good, man. Mm-hmm. That's good. I had a good day too yesterday. I was It was kind of lazy, but it was nice. I got some things done. It was always good. I've been trying really hard to be as productive during the weekend as I am during the weekdays, which mm-hmm. is hard. Because yeah. if you... It is. If you expel all your energy during the week, it's like you get to the weekend, you just want to fucking sleep all day. Yeah. But it's like it's a weird trick that your mind plays you because you don't need to sleep all day, but you want to. But you, if you just force yourself to get up and do shit, like you have energy. Yeah, you do. You just don't realize it. Definitely have energy. Yeah, it's because all that time you're wishing you were home when you're at work. Yeah, for know? sure. It's like you're wishing about all the stuff that you could be doing. Yeah, the grass is always greener. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. It's just a weird trick that your mind plays on you. Mm-hmm. Like you, you have so much more energy than you think. Yeah. Your mind just wants to be like, fuck, I just want to do nothing. I'm trying to do this shit like full time, bro. It'd be dope doing this like full time and then just like having the time to do fucking anything we want. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Without having to worry about work. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our work, if we can get to a point where we're putting out more content, which is an absolute must, we need to be hammering this shit out like. Like big time with all these with all these plans that we got, we're we're gonna be having a lot of content coming out, yeah. and I'm 100 percent there for it, and I'm fucking ready. Yeah, we just need to do it, and if if we can do that, we can start making some money. We get our Patreon going, dude. If we get big, man, it it would be fucking great. It would be amazing. It's definitely the goal, because mm-hmm. then our work wouldn't be a job. Like our work would be something we like doing. Yeah, yeah. it'd be fire, bro. It'd be dope. It'd be great. We gotta put get, the work in, though. Yeah. You have to. You have to. But that's yeah. also the that's also kind of the thing that I love about podcasting is that it's just fun. Like yeah. even if we don't make money or we don't get big, I just like getting together with you fuckers every week and talking, and having a good time. Yeah. Like yeah, absolutely. even if it's just as simple as that, then fuck it. I'm still there for it. Yeah, we're all the fucking shit. forty episodes already. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting up there. We are. Yeah. We are getting up there. Fuck yeah. I love it. We're, uh, we, we got shit coming out. We got we shit do. we're working on. We're yeah. in the workshop right now. This is a very delicate stage of our podcast because this is kind of the make or break point, you know? Yeah. We, we're kind of settling in right now. We, we know what we're like. We know what we do. We're just, uh, this is the point that we're at where we could either quit and throw it all away or we could say, we're in this shit. Let's get it done. And I'm ready to get it done. Absolutely. Dude, like, my dream, honestly, is to, like, for real, end up like Fulcrum, low-key. Yeah. Just fucking get faded in a hoe everywhere, bro. <laughs> Just make videos and live off of that? I would, dude, I would do that. That'd be I, the life. I really would. Fuck like, yeah. even us in public, like, going out to, like, obviously a state where that's legal. Right. You know? Right. 
if we were all doing that or something and just doing interviews for people or like just yeah. doing apex prey shit that we would normally do yeah. and i could just have that included like i think yeah. that'd be cool yeah that'd be really cool so you're more you pref- you kind of prefer the man on the street style of youtube videos kind not i mean kind of i would say more for like clips I don't know. Yeah, for like I'm, quick I'm in the shit. middle. For like obviously, quick. obviously, I love doing the podcast, but yeah. I just think it'd be really cool. Do you yeah. feel like you could yeah. do that? Like you could go out in public and just be a goofball and like fuck with people. Maybe not fuck with people, but I could like. I think I could talk to people. You know. Yeah. About Why don't like, you then? I don't know. Just do it. Just go out and talk to people. I mean, if but that's it's gotta, what you, you got to make it funny though. That's, yeah, that's but, what makes him different. But here's he the thing: just talk to people. Yeah, here's the thing: that's if that's true. if that's something that you wish you could end up doing, you can literally just do it. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, but so I'm why in Ohio. I, I can't be getting faded in a hoe. You know? Why not? Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely more risky. Yeah. Um, but I mean, but that you don't, is also like you don't fulcrums. have to. That's his like right. That's, that's his what I'm brand. saying. You know what I'm like, saying? Like you can you can find your own thing. Yeah. Like you can be your own person. That's ideal. Yeah. The you can't you can't get anywhere in this business. I guess you could consider what we're doing right now showbiz. You know, you can't get anywhere right, in it. Showbiz. You can't get anywhere if you're not fully like yourself like you have to be unapologetically yourself yeah and that's how that's how you get around getting canceled because you know if you're if you're just yourself and everyone loves that then you can just be yourself and everyone's gonna love when you're being yourself Mm -hmm. but if you're you know if you're acting like you're something you're not that's when you go into these wormholes of getting these fans that like the character you're playing but not you and you get sick of playing a character and it's just it's dangerous. You just Damn. the only That's way crazy. the only way to really like be successful in making it a job is you gotta be yourself and yep. you gotta just hope your fans like you. Yeah. You know? I think we do a good job at being ourselves here. I agree. We're nothing else but ourselves. Yeah, I agree. For sure. Maybe a little too much. No, there's <laughs> no such thing as too much. I think we need more is what we need. I think we, we need, need a, more we need too. a lot more, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yep. All yep. right. Well. Yep. Yep. I'd yep. have to say that's good for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. That was fun. I'm fucking exhausted after that one. <laughs> Carry the fucking load on my back. Yeah, you do. God damn. Hell you guys yeah. are hungover as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungover. I, I'm just the I'm producer, tired. man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I got dragged in here. I took I took my alpha brain this morning. That's why I feel so good. Yeah. yeah what's for up, real. Bro? Like you're tweaking. I'm just chilling, bro. This dude's just I don't know alpha. What you're doing. No, he is like alpha. I try right to now. be. I try to be 100%. I might have to hop on that shit, bro. <laughs> I try to be 100% in everything I do, bro. That's just my ultimate goal, all right? So, do you take Alpha Brain good. every day, though? Fuck no. Damn. Absolutely not. You'd be no. overpowered. <laughs> Dude, it's good shit. Yeah. It really is good shit. It doesn't like make you high or anything. It just makes right. you like clear. Like, Fucking zone in. Like yeah, super, it makes super you, sober. It just makes me able to like be able to think better pretty much. Yeah. Like I'm more in like control that. of myself. It's nice. I might have to hop on it. It's great, bro. I have some. You I could give it? you guys some. I highly fucking recommend right. I, I want to try it. The only, I would also try the it. The only reason, it's not like super cheap. So that's the only reason I don't take it every fucking day. If I could afford taking it every single day, I would, bro. Yeah. It definitely is like, bro, when I take it, I'm at peak human level. Like, I'm a, <laughs> like you So you say shit. it's worth the money. It's though. legit shit. It is worth the money. Yeah. I just can't afford to do it every day. How much is but, it? How many tablets do they give you, too? I think it, um, they sell it at Walmart. I think it's like sixty tablets for like fifty bucks or something. Sheesh. Yeah. 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 Six sixty. You just take one a day. But that's like um, two months worth of shit if you took one every right. day. I yeah. I mean, I take like. Again, I don't use it every day. Right. Um, but if I do use it, I'll take like two or three tablets, and then that's like, you know, like for me. one day. For yeah, for one day. Yeah. Many, like this, like, like the, this, what's the, what's like this morning, I, for just for example, this morning I woke up, I was feeling a little bit groggy, a little bit hungover because I did quite a bit of drinking last night and I knew we had a podcast to do pretty soon. So I said, fuck it. I took three, 
um, alpha brain tablets, which is fine. It's nothing crazy. Fucking Joe Rogan talks about taking like 12 at a time. I mean, oh my God. He's, he's a literal extraterrestrial. Like you can't keep up with <laughs> yeah. that. So yeah, I just took three, you know, it just gave me, it gave my brain a little bit of a boost to be able to get here Damn, and get dude. shit done. You know, I'm trying to hop on that do it bro it's nice i'll I, literally give you and it's not like i'm trying to take alpha brain for the day it's not like i'm sure you can overdose on it you can take too much but it's not like it's not gonna hurt you you know it's not an evil supplement it's just a nootropic it's just i'm trying to take some for real. it's pretty like, much just spe- like some specific vitamins thrown in there that help your brain function at max you know functionality hell and yeah bro it's nice yeah, I'll give you some if you want to try. I definitely it. want some. Yeah, it's nice for sure. I highly recommend it. <laughs> All right, well, I need some max brain functionality. <laughs> Socks, damn it! Socks is stuck. Um, we're falling apart over here. So I, th- I think that's it. Yep. I think Thanks that's for it. Listening, this, everybody. Was a, this was a good Thanks, episode. Guys. Yep. I'm happy with this one. Yep. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm sweating too. I'm sweating my ass off. <laughs> Something like that.